Hey everybody, Antonio here. So today I wanted to make a video about ChatGPT and forcing it to write a symphony. I've been exploring a lot with AI tools recently and I'm a little bit terrified, a little bit excited, a little bit confused, a lot of it confused. With the advent of AI, I feel like we're going to see a lot of content being produced really quickly. Well, we already are, but my initial idea was to mess around with some artificial intelligences that take MIDI, input it, transform it, do all sorts of, you know, robot stuff and create a new piece of music. But what I found was that the music I was writing, um, the music I was writing, the music that the AI was writing wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. And I've been hearing a lot about ChatGPT's ability to not think, but like think. So I don't know. Basically my idea was to prompt an AI to become a contemporary classical composer. It was a little resistant at first, which I'll show you. It didn't really want to do it, but then I told the AI, you're gonna write a piece of music for me. The process really involved me taking ChatGPT's gestures and ideas and transforming them into written composition using Sibelius. A large part of the composition process definitely is still human for now. Yeah, so I'm gonna take you through that. We're gonna look at some score. We're gonna look at what I said to ChatGPT to get it to write these things. And yeah, so let's take a look and see what kind of composer ChatGPT is. So basically what I wanted to do is prompt the AI to become able to understand how to write music. So I said, hello, I want you to act as a contemporary composer. You have a vast knowledge of classical music, orchestration, music theory, techniques. You want to compose a new piece of music using the concept of musical gestures, and you will use descriptive and clear language to describe the sounds that you want composed. So yes, I understand. As an AI language model, I'm not capable. It said, I will do my best to assist you in your composition. And I said, it's your composition. I see. Well, as a composer, I am interested in exploring the concept of musical gestures in my composition. To begin, I envision a slow and mysterious opening that gradually builds in intensity and energy. The opening gestures would be tentative and ex ex exploratory, as if the music was searching for something. I want to use a combination of high-pitched ethereal strings and low rumbling percussion. Okay, I can work with that. As the music progresses, more complex and luster just complex and layered gestures music builds to a climax so we're definitely getting a form here too right we start out slow and mysterious complex and layered gestures different elements new orchestration climax final triumphant gesture that resolves the tension and brings the musical journey to a satisfying conclusion so i think this is a really great first step so then i went on i also asked it to describe the instruments tempo time signatures tonal centers dynamics rhythmic elements melodic elements musical texture emotional aspects and it did a pretty good job it laid everything out in 30 seconds increments which is a little boring but I felt like it was a, a pretty solid attempt at giving me a form of some sort I also asked it for program notes which it did a great job I will post those in the description oh that's so funny I said this is really exciting I'm going to help you compose this piece by putting it into notation software could you provide me with as many specifics as possible for the opening section and it did not disappoint tempo andante time signature 4-4 four, four, tonality a minor Instruments, strings, and percussion. Okay, so I've laid all that out here. We have Andante, 4-4, four, four, timpani, bass, drum, triangle, cymbals. It clarified later what percussion it wanted to use, and I'll, I'll go ahead and show that. Full string section, and we have our percussion. So the strings play a hesitant and exploratory gesture with a slow, syncopated rhythm, while the percussion plays a simple driving rhythm in 4-4 four, four time. I went ahead and focused on A minor, slow, syncopated rhythm, first. So I'll go ahead and show you the melody I initially wrote. All right, we have syncopation. A minor, falling lines like it asked for. Okay. It also asked for driving rhythms in 4-4 time. So let's go ahead and listen to this timpani line real quick and we'll get a feel for that. Get the idea. 
basically that's what I started with. I started with timpani and I started with violin. From there, I really wanted to build out some more things and I kind of just took a lot of what it asked for. So high pitched, I obviously pitched the violins pretty high register with the 8VA. So what I did was I just took a pretty common minor chord progression and notated it out for full string. Here's where I asked, are there any other percussion instruments in addition to the bass drum and timpani? So suspended cymbal, very nice, and triangle light delicate touch to add a sparkle to the texture. As for the strings, they should be playing alone at the beginning of the composition. I like how it stuck to its original idea and it was like, no, you know what, we're doing this. So yeah, let's take a listen. what's going to come next obviously it's not a full symphony yet but i mean chat gpt gave me a whole list of what it wants okay yeah so that was really exciting this is also i should note chat gpt 3 i know chat gpt 4 was just released recently in like the last week or so and the capabilities there look awesome and i can't imagine what it could do given these same prompts but i feel pretty satisfied with the results here so yeah thanks for checking this out if you like this video please give it a like you can also join me on patreon and I'll see you for the second movement slash section slash AI generated horrors beyond my comprehension. Thanks so much for tuning in everybody and I will see you in the next video. Bye.